Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park. This is my first time coming during the day. I've only ever came for their after hours event. So I brought my GoPro and I wanted to give you guys a grand tour of the park, ride the awesome water slides and water coasters and do a food tour and discover all the amazing food offerings that they have and just have a beautiful Typhoon Lagoon kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. And here we are. Welcome to Typhoon Lagoon. This is one of two water parks that they have at the Walt Disney World Resort. The other one being Blizzard Beach, but that has not yet opened. And tickets are $64 to $69 depending on blackout dates. But they do have AP discounts and DVC discounts. So I'm sure we're going to get a cheaper ticket. And I'm just excited to head on in. I believe this is like my third time ever coming to this water park. Actually, I don't do a lot of water parks. So let me know in the comment section if you guys like that. And maybe I'll start doing some more water parks. And like I said, this is my like first time ever coming during the day. Because I've only ever came for the H2O Glow After Hours event. And that's like a completely different experience. Here is a look at the map for Typhoon Lagoon and this is such a big water park. They have 12 different attractions and right in the center is the gigantic wave pool. And this wave pool actually <laughs> makes me scared but I'm definitely going in it a little bit later on. They have the lazy river that goes all the way around the park and they have tons of dining locations. And a look at some of the wait times for the rides themselves. Mostly looks like everything is less than 15 minutes and today is an extremely busy day the parks open till seven o'clock lots of different dining offerings and we're gonna get some adult beverages as well I ended up getting an annual pass discount so I saved a couple dollars but if you are a pass holder you can upgrade your pass to include this and it's like $105 to upgrade and I think I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna wait till I renew my pass because I'm one of the lucky few that are still rocking a platinum pass it's gonna expire and I have to renew in September but uh, I still have a platinum pass so how cool is that a couple of things I wanted to point out. You do not get free towels here. You actually have to rent your towels unless you are staying at a resort. And if you're staying at a resort, you just got to tell them what resort you're staying at. Otherwise, it's only $2 for the towels and you can get them at Singapore Sal's right here. And then they also have lockers available for rental. So in case you want to lock your stuff up, which is a good idea because you're just leaving stuff around, but they do have locker rentals. Or for a little bit more of a pricier side, you can rent out a private cabana right over here before we get all settled in I wanted to show you guys the fit check for today I got the Roosevelt Millennium Falcon tux look at this I don't know how far back I can go I love this matching shirt matching trunks whenever you come to a water park always dress comfortable like that's the number one rule doesn't matter what you're wearing as long as you're comfortable and also don't forget sunblock got the good old SPF 100 take that hat off I'm bald take those glasses off shake it up shake it up and just I think that's how you do it tell me when it burns ha huh. oh look at this amazing wave pool I love it. I cannot wait to get in this later. It is so massive. And this is where they do the surf lessons, actually. It's like so cool. That's one thing I got to do one day. I want to come surfing at Typhoon Lagoon. I feel like that's going to be a bucket list check. I'm not gonna lie, when you're actively sweating and you uh, spray sunblock on, it tends to run a little bit and get in your eyes and it burns a lot. So now I have a napkin to keep dabbing my eyes clear, but I feel like they're watery already. They, they definitely hurt. Look at that tan line. I think we're gonna start off our day here at Fred's Dive Bar, I believe they call it. And they have a special frozen beverage called the Fred's Purple Siren. Stoli uh, vodka, raspberry puree, dessert pear, and pineapple juice. And I'm all in it. Fred and his Purple Siren is what I like. I like how they have their own little machine too for it. So that's extra fancy. And here we go. Fred's Purple Siren. Cheers. 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 Delicious. Really like it. It's very good. Refreshing. It is really good. Refreshing. <laughs> Refreshing. I like that. Refreshing. I see what you did there. <laughs> 
one of the most important things whenever you come to Typhoon Lagoon is to find a good spot so you can put your stuff. You know what I mean? You want to have a, a central location that you can go back to. They do offer lockers and stuff, but everything's on a first come first serve basis. And luckily we're with some friends who got here and we have a nice little spot over here. Got a little shade spot, a little coziness. I like this a lot. Look at that. Very fancy. Very fancy. <laughs> I think we're gonna grab ourselves a little snack from this mini donut stand. This is actually from Joffrey's. And if they're making fresh donuts, I would love to have a fresh Joffrey's donut. And they sell them by the half dozen or the dozen, $5.99 or $10.99. You can also get coffee here too, but I'm excited for donuts. They might be Look at them with their donuts in there. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yes. They put a little sugar on top there. I saw that. Oh, excellent, there we go. Thank you. You know, it's funny because my friend Kristen right down Main Street said that these donuts were phenomenal and I never got to try them, so now I'm excited. And I think they have special ones for H2O Glow Nights. I'm not 100% on that, but just the regular ones alone, I'm kind of, I'm intrigued. You can get dipping sauces for an additional $1.69, so I got both of them just so I could test it out, and here they are. I feel like they just put the sugar on top of it. They really didn't like, like you know coat them around so i'm gonna shake it around like this i'm gonna you know pop my uh pop my mini donuts here that's the way and i think i got it good now first we have to try them on the oh they're so warm <laughs> they're so warm and they fall apart they fall apart they're like very fluffy but first you got to try them on their own plane look at that that's insane right oh wow that is so good now we gotta dip them, but I don't want it to fall apart in the dipping. There we go. The raspberry one's gonna be like a jelly donut, I feel like. A little jelly donut, don't mind if I do. Now it's time for the chocolate donut, and look at that. Oh yeah, much too good. It's time to make the donuts. I already made the donuts. That's a lot of chocolate on the donut there. Lots and lots. Mm. Okay, the vote is in. If I would have to choose between any of the sauces, I would have to go with the raspberry. But I have to say, I don't even think you need any sauces. Like, these just fall apart. Look at that. I love it. Like, they're so good. These donuts might be my favorite thing here, actually. Kristen definitely, she, yeah, she definitely turned me on to these because I'm obsessed now. I'm gonna be alternating between my GoPro and my regular camera, so you might hear like a slight audio difference, but the picture should still be the same, and I think we're gonna have like a good rotation. We're gonna ride a ride, get a drink, grab something to eat, you know? Kinda just keep it so we're not doing the same thing over and over. We're gonna start the day off by heading into the wave pool, which is not what I was expecting, but my friends uh, kind of made a good point. They said, go get wet, so while we wait in line, we're not gonna actually be hot. So we're gonna do the wave pool, I'm gonna get tossed around a lot, and uh, I'm gonna swim for my life. There is a good chance I'm gonna lose my glasses, so I'm gonna take them off and hold them. This really does toss you around pretty bad. <laughs> oh no, here it comes. Oh my lord, I'm too far out. I'm too far out. I give up. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, I was too far. Retreat. Retreat. Okay, well, that was enough of the wave pool. One big wave, I'm good to go. We're gonna go back in a little bit later, but I was super afraid I was gonna lose my glasses. I was hanging on to them for like dear life. And now we're actually gonna go wait in line for one of the uh, attractions, one of the, the rides here. Now I think we're gonna hop in line for Misadventure Falls. It says a 15 minute wait from this point. And this is actually, I think, the newest uh, ride here at Typhoon Lagoon. It's one of those family tube rides and actually has animatronics on it, so I'm so excited. It was actually only like 15 minutes. And uh, these rafts are uh, two to four people. Woo, I'm in. Are you in? I'm in. We're ready. We're ready. Brandon's in, we're ready. 
How you guys doing? Just chilling over there? We're going on the conveyor belt. We're going on a conveyor belt. Ready for some singing. Yes. This is nice. Oh, and it's also Brandon's birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. It's a week-long celebration. That's so the way. I like the attention. Let's I celebrate like August. We could go all on month. August. <laughs> I just want to go on Crush and Gusher all day. I've been annoying the poor people. We're going for it. Look at that climb. We're going all the way up. Holy moly. Exit immediately to your left. Stay safe out there. Hello. I, I got my legs out. Heard that. You raise me up. So uh oh. We stopped. Ooh. Usually there's like a nice little animatronic here though. I can hear him talking in there. Yeah. I think it's the only ride where there's like actual singing in any of the water parks, right? Really? Yeah, like I don't think like Blizzard Beach, no, there's no rides that has like singing at all or any sort of like major theming to it, right? They're usually just like slides with minor theming. This is the only one that I think is like pretty heavily themed. Oh, you can actually hear this creaking like it's gonna fall on us. Like none of the other rides have sound. This is pretty high up. Holy moly. Are you good, Amanda? Goodbye. Oh boy. Hello. How's it going? There's a lot of yells coming from in there. Holy moly. Oh no! Ah! Ah! Ooh, oh, this is actually really nice. This is cozy. Ah! We're chilling. We're chilling, mate. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! We're getting tossy turny here. Another cave. <laughs> oh my lord! Ah. Oh. Feels good on a nice hot day though, Nate. Oh, <laughs> oh we're coming Ooh. to an end here. We're gonna fall. Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh, man. We made it. That was fun. We survived, Nate. We survived. We made it. That's the second best ride of Typhoon Lagoon, I think. Right here is the separation. You have pineapple to the left, double riders only, coconut in the middle, that's single riders and double riders, and banana blaster. <laughs> banana blaster. Banana blaster. We're gonna do banana, which is the two-person one. Two -person it's the one. fastest one. Now they have three of them. They have banana, pineapple, and coconut, right? Yep, and I believe there's only one of them where you can ride single rider. And oh. you have to do double rider. And this is my favorite ride at this park. My second favorite ride at any Disney park behind the Grand Brown Slides at, at Blizzard Beach. I think they're called. I'm like excited. Snow ride, ride or die partners right here. Oh, Nate, <laughs> we're rides again. I'm just glad we're going on slides. Nate gets here and we, we all go on rides. This yep. Nice. <laughs> if you've never heard of a water coaster, it's basically something that's basically like it, it pushes you. So you can see this one here. We're gonna see someone come down. Oh, right there. And it pushes you like up and down like hills. And I am just so excited for this. Like it's so much fun. I know, right? I'm watching everyone. I'm like, this is like so, and, and the weight's not too bad. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just so excited seeing all these things. I've only rode these at night. So I don't even know what it's like riding during the day. Going bananas. I'm going bananas. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> oh my lord. Are you I am. Okay, I thought I was How are you, man? Good. Good to see you, my friend. I'm excited for this. It's my favorite one. Oh boy. Ready? Oh lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Ah! Ah! Oh my lord! Ah! Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> 
I have to say, uh, Crushing Gusher was amazing. I'm switched back over to the regular camera now, but I'm so happy I brought the GoPro. And I went down the banana side the first time and I loved it. It was like so intense. Like, <laughs> I definitely want to do it again maybe before we leave. And I also want to go back in the wave pool, ride some more rides. But now I want to show you some more of the food offerings that they have and uh, get a little snacky poo, a little snack snack. This fun little area over here is where our little like cabana area is. It's not really a cabana, it's just a area that they had reserved for private parties and they let us sit in there. But this used to be like a swimming area where you used to be able to swim with sharks. Like isn't that so cool? And then they have this upside down submarine and I just love it. Look at that. It's massive. This is really cool. I kind of wish I saw it. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about because I'm not even too sure. That's just what they told me. But I'm very intrigued. Like I'm very, I'm going to look this up when I get home. I want to swim with sharks. You know what I mean? Like look at this. This looks too fun. The first place that I spotted was Typhoon Tilly's here. And they've got some good offerings. They got a land and sea combination, a little fish and a little chicken. They've got shrimp wreck salad, shrimp louis lettuce wraps, crabless crab cakes, crabless crab crab tree. And then they got some fish tacos. A lot of good stuff, but nothing that's really catching my eye. I was looking and I thought I saw some uh, Caribbean like jerk uh, rice bowls. And I think I want to go to get those, but I still wanted to point it to you. Seems like a good spot though, for if you like fish. Leaning Palms is the place that I'm interested in eating at. They're the ones that have that shrimp rice bowl that I first saw and I was like, okay, I think I need to get that. So we're gonna make our way over there and then maybe come back and get a Dole Whip a little bit later on. Some more drinks, some more rides. You guys know the rotation. Right here is a look at the food that they have over at the Leaning Palms, which I'm kind of confused with the sign here because it says Leaning Placid Palms, but it's scratched off. So let me know if you guys know what that means. Like, is it the type of tree maybe? But anyways, I, I, I get distracted about the littlest things. They have a jerk shrimp rice ball that looks really amazing. They've got an Island Crunch chicken sandwich, a chicken wrap. They got chicken or tofu rice bowls, flatbreads, all the good stuff. And then they have some additional items too, like cauliflower. They've got uh, house-made chips, a couple of uh, alcoholic drinks. Oh, a blue typhoon colada. That also sounds good, but I'm all here for the rice. And just when I thought I seen it all, take a look at this. They got a banana pudding milkshake. I definitely have to get that. I was going to get the blue typhoon colada, but you guys know how I love banana pudding. And as a milkshake, you got to be kidding me. And here it is. Take a look at this. The banana pudding milkshake. I like what they did here. Looks like it's a hidden Mickey, and I like that. And then also the rice bowl. Look at this shrimp. They're not playing around here. This is some high quality food, I think. And I'm excited to try it. Like, I'm, I'm very excited to try that banana pudding milkshake, though. We got to take our food back to our little private cabana. I know, right? I like this. First things first, the banana pudding milkshake. I have a feeling it's going to be the typical, like, warm milkshake at Disney. They have milkshakes that are, like, warm, like, room temperature. But I don't know. Maybe this one might be different. I'm going to find out. That's amazing. Yep. It's good. It tastes like a banana milkshake on its own, but then when you get a little bit of the crumble cookies in there, then it's the good. Then you gotta get the pudding in there. Mm -hmm. Look at this. You can scoop up the whipped cream, get it all. That's where the banana pudding comes into play. This is actually a really, really good milkshake. I wasn't expecting it to be, but it is a success for me. Mm. Enough of the milkshake business. Now it's time to dive into these uh, little shrimps here. And I like this. I think we got some plantains, some rice, some corn salsa. And like I said, I'm, I'm impressed with the shrimp. It looks actually like good quality shrimp. So we're going to dive in, have a little pineapple. Going to try to get a little bit of everything in one bite. A little bit of rice, a little bit of corn, a little bit of shrimp. There we go. That's the way. Here we go. Shrimp's up. 
Mm. Seriously, if I like, I, I wouldn't really think that a water park has phenomenal food, but this being a quick service, like this is actually really great A stuff right here. Like probably one of my like favorite rice bowls that's like, you know what I mean, on Disney property, that's like a quick service location. So I'm really shocked, but I like it a lot. I'm pretty positive you get about eight shrimp, but I think I already ate three of them. So that's why I'm saying I'm pretty positive. Uh, and that's not like a bad value. And like two big plantains too. So like, it's actually a very filling meal. And I forget how much I paid for it. I didn't look at the price price. Oh, $12.29. $12.29. $12 and these are not bad at all either overall everything on the whole entire like bowl is really good even the corn salsa they also have a really cool spot where you can get some dough whips and they've got some very colorful flavors here they've got pineapple lime mango raspberry and they get served in a waffle cone and then they got some signature cones over here look at this a hey hey cone I think they used to have that at Magic Kingdom. And then a Mountain Nui Island Twist. That one looks very, very pretty. I like that a lot. Now that we've had a little lunch, which actually, like I said, was really, really amazing. I think we should grab a adult beverage and just wait around 30 minutes so we don't get a cramp. And then head back out there. Head back out and enjoy the park. Ride some more slides and maybe head into the wave pool and the lazy river. There's a lot to do. Our little private area is by the Typhoon Tilly's and I seen an electric like lemonade over here so I think I came back to get that one. Uh, I did actually stop over at what I called Dave's Dive Bar but I think it's Hammerhead Dave's. That's our uh, Hammerhead Fred's. That's where they had the uh, Fred Siren. But I like this one a little bit better. Right here is the lemonade I was talking about. The Geyser Lemonade. Blue raspberry and green apple mixed with Minute Maid Premium Lemonade. And you can add Bacardi or tequila for $13. So I'm thinking I'm going all in on the Geyser Lemonade. We got the good old Geyser Lemonade here. It looks actually very refreshing, doesn't it? I love it. I mean, things like this, anything colorful, I just automatically think it's going to be delicious. So we'll find out. Oh yeah, that is much too good. That is very, very refreshing. And I was 100% right. That is so refreshing. I love it. It tastes so good. You can't even taste the green apple in it. I'm really shocked. I ended up not getting the one with either Bacardi or tequila because I thought $13 extra. Unless they were talking about $13 to go to was a little bit like, you know what I mean? That's a pretty, that's a, bit, that's a big jump for a shot of tequila. So uh, I'm happy I went the way I did. And now it's time to switch back over to the GoPro. We're going to head back out, maybe to the wave pool in the lazy river. Got to finish up the drink here, though. And I'm excited. Like, I'm loving I love days like this. Typhoon Lagoon is just so chill. And I like the music, too. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but... Do -do 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 -do. I highly suggest that you wear shoes when you're walking around the park, either Crocs or water shoes. But uh, if you end up going in the wave pool, which we're about to go into the wave pool, take them off because you'll lose them. And you have to find a good spot because the waves will actually take them away. So I like to tuck them up here. Oh, put them up here. I'm gonna put them up here. Hopefully I won't lose them. I think that's a good spot. Yep, we're gonna let them go. Woo. And then we should be good to go. Because if you set them on the side, the waves will come and take them. I hope I can grab them again now. I put them up pretty high. Okay, yeah, they're good. They're good. Why are you guys all right here? Hello, the waves over there. Yeah, That's the point. Minutes. You're scared? You just answered yeah. your question. Oh. Kind of wave over here. Oh, you want the? You're looking for the wave. Oh. <laughs> all right, we're heading back out. For some reason, everybody's booing. Why is everybody booing? There's a little wave. Oh, it's a little wave. We need a big wave. Yeah, the big waves. They're booing because they want the big wave. Well, I'm ready. Last time it, it swept me right off my feet. <laughs> I know. Or a nightmare. I'm worried. There's an empty life jacket. Either someone learned how to swim just now, which is beautiful, or <laughs> we've lost another one to Typhoon Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost another one to Typhoon Tilly. <laughs> oh boy. We're deep. We're good. Oh, we're out here. We're out here. We're moving right now. We're gonna, we're gonna be moving. Oh, she's going all in. She's going all in. I gotta go. I'm coming.
man! Where's those chickens back there? <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> this is. I've never been this far! I've never been this far! I'm not a good swimmer! I could have walked! Uh oh! Get back! Oh boy, I gotta take my glasses off! Oh no! <laughs> oh, 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 that was too good. Ooh. That was good. That was good. Where's Sam? Look at oh my god, she is a champion. Dang, okay. Okay. <laughs> now I gotta now I gotta actually swim. Ready, ready. I can't swim. <laughs> She's a strong swimmer. She grew up on Lake Ontario. Uh oh, here it comes. Oh lord! Oh my lord! It looks like a big one. Oh. Wait! I'm jumping up! Oh, oh. Oh. Yes. That one wasn't that bad. How Cody's hat still on? <laughs> Lost them. Found them on the floor. Oh, you got them? On the How'd you keep your hat on? I hold it. Oh, you hold it? But I didn't hold my glasses. Oh. Uh, it's not that bad the further out you go. Really? Because you can really go up and over. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Sam is calling us out. We're swimming out farther than I've ever been before. Oh, my God. Look at us. I'm doggy paddling. I'm going one arm! I'm doggy paddling! Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! I feel alive. <laughs> You're float. You oh boy. Here we go. Woo! This is a big one, guys. Oh. Holy moly. That was a rough one. All right, we had enough of the wave pool. Look at that, what a hack, right? <laughs> Hopefully mine are still up there. <sighs> Ooh, I can't reach. There they are. Someone's cup's up here too. Someone was boozing. Uh-oh, there we go. That's the way. <laughs> okay, back on the regular camera now. And I figured since we spent a lot of time in the wave pool, but I really do like it a lot. And I swam out as far as I've, I've never swam out that far. Sam really had me going out there just to uh, catch up with her. And I liked it. It was fun. Like we got really pushed far back. It was very scary and frightening. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can see it in the videos. But uh, now I just kind of want to walk around the park and just look at things. Take it all in, you know? I feel like we spent most of our time just on one side of the park. That's where the big rides are. You know, that's where the uh, Crush and Grusher was and Misadventure Falls. Now I kind of want to just explore down these little pathways here. I like this. The Lazy River is a lot of fun though. You could spend hours in there. It was just so busy I couldn't find a tube. Even right now I don't see any tube. Except for this lonesome one just floating here. All by myself. How funny is that? There's nobody in the Lazy River now, but before, literally, I couldn't even move. It was like a traffic jam. I wanted to come over to Low Tide Lou's to get something to drink, but I think they closed up shop. The park's open till 7 o'clock, so I'm really hoping, like, everything uh, isn't closed already. I figured it's open for another hour, unless they start closing up things an hour before the park closes. And that way, I'm going to be really sad. But they had a Lou's Wavy Mango Wine Slushy that I wanted to try. We can keep on moving. And over on this side, they have Catch-A-Kitty Creek. 
Mayday Falls, and Keelhaul Falls. I like this. Catchy Kitty Creek. Catchy Kitty Creek. It looks like the Happy Landings ice cream uh, stand is open. I was worried everything would be closed because it does look like some of the things close an hour before the park closes. I have no idea why they do that, but this is still open, so I'm able to show you one more thing, and it is pretty amazing. I saw something earlier that looked so amazing that I want to get just so I can show you guys. Might have to share it with some friends or something, but it's the Ice Dream Sand Pale Sundae. And it is pretty massive. Here, I'll let you know everything that comes in it. It has vanilla and birthday cake flavored soft serve, iridescent sprinkles, waffle cone pieces, rainbow cake, hot fudge caramel, and whipped cream and cherry layered into a Walt Disney World 50th anniversary sand sale bucket for $15.99. That is Pretty amazing sounding. Holy moly, look at this. This is gigantic. It has all of the ice cream in there, the like iridescent sprinkles. It looks like a whole can of whipped cream and then a 50th anniversary little token there. That is so crazy. When it comes to ice cream business, you have to move pretty quick because it melts fast here in uh, Florida, especially in a hot July day like this. So we found ourselves a spot and you can see the whipped cream. It kind of already, it already fell down. It sunk a little. It was like this high and now it kind of shrunk down, but there is a whole lot of ice cream and whipped cream in here. And we're gonna dive into it and show you a little bit. I know she told me that the birthday soft service at the bottom, but I'm just gonna pull out, oh wow, look at that. Look at that, what's in there? What's going on there? Oh, this looks much too good. Oh, and that's a piece of cake? Oh, no way. This is definitely a shareable dessert. Like, holy moly, but we're going in for it. Wow. That is so good. I really, really appreciate how they put everything so that it's easily like accessible, you know what I mean? If you want to get some of the cake, uh, like the birthday cake soft serve, you can. It's like not like layered, it's actually like, I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Uh, like I feel like I can easily get a little bit of everything in one bite and you guys know that's the way I like it. And with that ice cream sundae, it's time for us to start making our way out. Uh, it, they're actually doing an H2O Glow Nights tonight, so it's a special ticketed event. And anyone that doesn't have a wristband, they have to leave the park. And that's going to be us, because I'm here during the day. But it was really fun, and on the way out, I'm going to show you guys how they set up for the H2O Glow Nights. I mean, it doesn't really officially kick off until everyone that isn't here for the event is out of the park. But you can still see a little bit. Oh, look at this! As soon as you walk in, they've got bubbles and these gigantic little balloons and this is the wristband distribution area. So everyone has to scan in like normally and then they get the wristbands and that's how they get to stay for the event. As we're making our way out, I wanna show you guys where I had to park. When I first got here, the line to get in was like out of this world. It took me like honestly a good hour just to be able to park. And the only parking spots that were available were like in the woods. So I have like a hike to actually get to my car. As soon as you walk out of the park, there's all this parking here. But like, honestly, like we are in the woods woods. Like we can go camping. Okay, just to give you guys an idea, here is the front parking lot of Typhoon Lagoon. Typhoon Lagoon is way up there. Here is the entrance. Here is the additional parking. Here is the cast parking. And actually, we are farther back than the cast parking even too, because they filled up on the cast parking. So like, when I say, like, I feel like you guys might think I'm exaggerating when I say we parked in the woods, but we were in the woods woods. The only reason I say that is because I was telling people in there like, hey, I parked in the woods and they're like, oh, you parked in the grass? And I was like, no, I parked in the woods. <laughs> this would be parking in the grass, like not in the woods. Where we're going is behind that tree line over there. <laughs> like we had to go through the trees to get to my parking spot. It's, it's pretty insane. I honestly thought it was a joke until I saw someone directing me exactly into a parking spot and I was like, wait, this is for real. They made me drive down here and then through this little pathway. Look at this, this is literally where I drove to park my car. <laughs> through the woods here. They even have a sign! It's called Bronson Meadows! Look at this. 
and we're all the way back here. I have never seen this before. They have lights though, so I'm sure they do this frequent. But this is, I feel like this is considered the woods. Like we're in it and it's deep. The grass is very high. And with that, I think we are done here. We've made it back to our car. It literally took me probably about 25 minutes to walk back here, but I'm so happy I came out. Got to hang out with some friends, had an amazing time, made a fun video for you guys. So like I said, if you guys want more water park content, I'll definitely make it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.